Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the Gospel of St. John. John chapter 1, verse 29, and it says, And the next day John saw Jesus coming toward him, and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. John the Baptist declared that Jesus is the Lamb of God. And we know that in the Old Testament that a lamb was offered up for the sin, for the atonement of the sin of the people. And this lamb had to be a perfect lamb. It had to be one without spot, without blemish. Couldn't have any defects whatsoever. You were not to offer up some sick, diseased, lame, injured, or otherwise defective animal that you did not want yourself. For God deserves our very best. This lamb served as a substitute for the people for the wages of sin is death. And so this innocent lamb would bear the judgment that was due the people for their sin. People were always sinning, and therefore a lamb was required repeatedly uh, for the atonement, for the covering of their sins. But the day was coming when God would provide a lamb for himself, a spotless, sinless, perfect lamb that would pay men's sin debt once and for all. For all the other lambs before Christ, they were only a substitute. They only, they, they only pointed to what Jesus ultimately would do on the cross, for he is the perfect lamb of God, the one without sin, that is spotless, that is pure, that is perfect. And he is the one in whom all of the sin of all mankind would be laid upon. He is the one that would pay the judgment and the penalty of sin once and for all on the cross. And by his death and, recon death and resurrection, we are therefore reconciled back unto God. Yes, God provided for himself a lamb. And Jesus willingly laid down his life for you. And for me, <laughs> to God be the glory for the great things he has done. What an amazing love is this. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse and that it would be a word of encouragement as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have just have a wonderful weekend Sunday. I pray that you have the opportunity to enter into a place of worship with the other saints of God. And then God's willing, we'll see you right back here on Monday morning on today's verse. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. Amen.